I can imagine it'd be a lot different product than it is now. I think it's uh, because of the platform that it sits on, it's likely to be uh, part of a suite of products rather than uh, just a communication tool, although a very powerful communication tool. Um, I think that uh, communication, I think they will evolve and it certainly won't be the product that it is now, but because it is a, um, a, a data, uh, video and, and voice tool that's based upon a, um, a universal platform, the IP, IP platform, that um, it's, it's going to have many uses, not just in, in the retail arena where uh, perhaps it's originated, but in all sorts of building types, be it airports, university campuses, and mixed use developments, uh, regeneration projects for, for city centres. Um, anywhere where there is the need to manage commercial activity between um, scheme managers and, and occupiers, I think that there, there's a place for it. I don't think, think there's an opportunity for the product to be used outside of the UK, whether it be Europe, the US or the Far East markets. Yeah, I think the uh, commercialisation angle as well, I think that, that will probably come to play more and more of a role. Very much so. But to date, uh, you've seen the growth of uh, advertisers and retailers using shopping centres as commercialisation, but one of the areas which is lacking at the moment is the accountability of returning investment from an advertising and from a retail sales uplift perspective. I think with the with uh, with TAS, we're then able to get the whole the, the whole paradigm and get everything looked at from the footfall to the sales uplift and uh, really prove the, the effective, effectiveness of commercialisation within shopping centres. I think TAS's main underlying strength is its, its modularity. That it's got the core communication system there, but it's not a generic at the end of the day. It is something that's been designed with specific requirements from a specific sector at the moment. But its modularity is allowing it to take it forward and to span into other sectors like airport, like hospitals, like hotels. Uh, and, and that will be its strength and, and its future proof. major consideration when implementing TAS is the, is the resilience of the environment that it's going into. Um, IP systems these days are, are highly resilient, but only if the underlying environment and infrastructure is resilient as well. And this is very key in a TAS implementation where it has to work 100% of the time in the case of an emergency so that centre managers can talk to the retailers quickly and easily. Um, so consideration for it, uh, the way the network is installed, that there is failover and fail safe built into the network, that there is power failover and UPS power provided to ensure that in, in the event of a total failure within the centre, that you at least have, uh, and centre managers have specified this, an hour's uptime on the TAS system which will allow them to evacuate and clear the centre, but knowing all along that TAS will be there and will be operating for them no matter what. But without that environment in place, then as with any system, TAS is only as good as the environment it is running in. I think that, that is a key point to get across. TAS is not a panacea answer to all your environment problems. Um, they have to be taken into consideration as well.